Well, how y'all doing? It's Papa again. Folks, do y'all remember me bitching? Well, I shouldn't say bitching. But do y'all remember me complaining about this Dagum Syntec battery charger that will not charge a dead battery? I mean, what the heck good is a battery charger that won't charge a dead battery? So I went and bought that other one in there. It works just fine. And then somebody learned me something. The person that made this video didn't send it to me, but someone that had seen the video sent me the link and I went and watched it. And a feller showed how to tell this battery charger to put out the juice. Well, that was all well and good. The only problem was you couldn't shut it off. And the nice thing about these battery chargers is when they're working properly, they will charge your battery until it's full and then they'll shut off. Well, I'm going to show y'all how to make this battery charger do what you want it to do for about two dollars. And that is through the use of a toggle switch and a couple of scrap pieces of wire. So we'll be right back. All right, well, the first thing we're going to do with this battery charger, and this is the Syntec battery charger, the 2 amp, 10 amp, 50 amp, item number 60653. I was complaining about this battery charger because it would not charge a dead battery. So we're going to get into this thing. Next time I want to tell David get me a good Phillips screwdriver. <laughs> oh. It is a small one, David, but it's got to have a decent tip small. on it. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it's only four screws that hold the cover on this thing. And we're going to pull them, up, pull them loose right quick. It's really neat. And I give a hundred, you know, a hundred percent credit to the man that showed how to force this thing to work. You can't have your puppy dog back. I know, right? He's all mine. Her name's Stuffy. Isn't she awesome? Oh, it's so it's the sweet dog. Not my neighbor. Another picture of my cute puppy. What's her name? Her name's Stuffin. Stuffin? Well, you can't have her back. Come on. Neighbor here's got a little what? pit bull. Cute little dog. <laughs> Over here. She likes to play. See what that do for you, bro. Oh, that's much better now that I'm done. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I'd really get to you for you. <laughs> okay. Stinker. It's a sweet little dog. Little stinker. A lot of people think pit bulls are mean dogs. They ain't no meaner than any other dog. It's all how you take care of them and raise them and love on them. Well, come on now. We don't need no stinking instruction. I can't do it as good as you do. No. My dog of seven my dog of seventeen years died and I missed my dog. Come on. I don't know what that dog was you had before. That damn thing stood at my door. And barked at my wife. Come here. Scared the shit out of her. Come here. And I told the police, I said, I don't want to shoot a man's dog. Yeah. 
But it's right here what? in my doorway. What? what? Barking like it's going to eat somebody up. <laughs> and, I, and I went to oh. y'all's house several times. Watch it. Watch, watch. Look, look, look. Look, look at it. Separate the back right from the front. Apparently, the only way to do that is you got to unscrew the front also. But that's all right. Everybody seeing what we're doing. Good thing I can edit this film. Make it look like I knew what I was doing. Okay. Bottom note, fellow. That's what's wrong with it. Yeah. Huh. This is very strange. What a lot of work. Okay. I got you. All right, David, I need you to operate the camera and zoom in here. Why don't you zoom in on my screwdriver here, as close as you can to it. Now this wire right here is coming in off of the cord, off the cord to plug into the wall, and it's soldered to this point, and then it runs through some little old deal in there, and finally it goes from this point up here to the transformer in order to tell this thing to start operating. Well. To force this thing to just work, all you gotta do is solder between that point and that point, and it'll work. You're forcing it to come on. But I don't want it to come on forever. I want to be able to tell it, okay, come on. And then after a little while, I want to be able to tell it, okay, I want you to shut off when you have fully charged my battery. So we're going to install a switch. We're going to install a toggle switch in here. And what's going to happen is we're going to turn this thing on, make it work, and then, you know, 30 minutes later, whatever, you turn the toggle switch off because you've got power in that dead battery and it will continue charging. So that's the idea. All right, so now we're going to use this step drill and we're going to mount this toggle switch. These step drills work real good in the drill press. Alright. 
bitch, you're so cool. Right. Yes, sir. Now. Can you see me here? Mm-hmm. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get out our 100 watt soldering gun kit from Harbor Freight. This is item number 64056. You see REC at the top? It's there. All right. You're on. Okay, folks. Wow. Well, this took a while. And let me tell you what. That damn soldering gun and kit from Harbor Freight ain't worth a sh shuck of corn. Anyway, anyway, I do not recommend the soldering gun kit from a Harbor Freight item 64056. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad, bad juju. <clears throat> we ain't having that. Okay, so here's the deal. We figured out, or I saw on YouTube, somebody else already figured it out ahead of me, that where the positive, where the black wire came in, it hooked to a rectifier or some of some piece of electronics down there and then it come out of there up to the transformer so what we've done or what I saw done on on YouTube can't take credit for it saw this guy do it is he soldered across these two points so that boom he's forcing it to charge and like I said the only problem is it won't ever stop. Well, these, this uh, battery charger, even though it was designed to uh, uh, not work unless it was hooked to a battery, at least it had a, the capability to shut down whenever it was finished. So his idea doesn't help you when it comes to overcharging your battery. So I put in a switch, and let me show you what happens when you plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. David, I need your assistance, sir. Plug it in, plug it in. David, my Santa's elf and helper is going to plug that in for me. Okay. okay. Now, I want you to notice that when I do this, there's no sparks. David, could you direct that light to shine like back over here, maybe? So it's, so people can see this. There oh, we go. Yeah, there ahead. we go. There we go. So you can see we have nothing here. But the battery charger is plugged in. But this battery charger says there ain't no battery, so I'm, I'm not going to give you any power. But if we flip that switch, oh yeah, we're ready to start charging battery now. All right, let me turn that off. Yeah, good and safe. All right, so I'll button her back up, and we now then, we have a battery charger that will charge the daggum battery when we want it to.
Well, all right. We got her all buttoned back up. To buttoned back up the way it's supposed to be. Here it is, plugged in. Nothing's happening. That's what aggravated me about this battery charger. Nothing works. It ain't hooked, hooked up to a battery. It don't give you any power. So. Now let's see what happens. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got power now. Y'all have a wonderful day. And a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody.